If you want to improve at Fortnite on controller, then you definitely came to the right video. In this video, I will be showing 3 tips on how you can improve at Fortnite. Trust me when I say that by the end of this video, you will see a massive improvement over your gameplay. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers and I would appreciate it if you guys helped me along for the journey. Anyways, let's get right into the first tip. The first tip that I have for you guys is to either start learning claw or buy attachable paddles. Players who don't play on claw and don't have paddles are at a massive disadvantage in Fortnite. Obviously, you can make up for it with optimal binds. However, you will still be at a slight disadvantage against the players who are either on claw or paddles. Claw is relatively easy to learn in my opinion. I have a video that goes really in depth on how to learn claw. Feel free to watch that video, I will have it linked in the description. I do recommend claw in most cases because it's free and you would only need one standard controller for it. A lot of custom controllers like Scuff sell controllers that break easily but since they contain modifications, they will still be expensive. However, on that note, I will link an Amazon link to a cheap attachable paddle that you can buy so you have two extra buttons at the back of your controller. Personally, in that case, I do recommend putting switch mode and jump on both paddles for maximum optimality. Please, if you really want to improve and start winning games, give yourself a competitive advantage by learning claw or by buying paddles. The second tip I have for you guys is to learn some fighting mechanics. I have here two easy fighting tips that you guys need to start implementing to your game. The first one is to simply apply counter peace control whenever you're trying to push a player. This will allow you to have an escape route in case your opponent wants to fight back and it will save you 95% of the time when you start smacking a wall. Smacking a wall brainlessly is the worst thing that you can do as a player. Most players know how to edit and punish you for being so open. So, in order to stay ahead, try placing a counter and a wall right next to your opponent. With this in mind, you will have a lot of options. If your opponent tries to get a hit on you, you can edit that cone and you'll have that extra layer of protection. If the opponent tries to full box you, you will have this wall to escape. If the opponent tries to edit to the side, you can apply peace control and full box them. If your opponent tries to edit upwards, you can place a wall and easily block your opponent. With this simple fighting mechanic, you can almost certainly get yourself an elimination whenever you're pushing an opponent. Another fighting mechanic that I will teach you guys is more on the defensive side. You want to build multiple boxes when you get tagged or when you're trying to box fight someone. This allows you to have multiple angles on an opponent and will help you escape when you are in a sticky situation. If the opponent enters your box, you can easily switch to your other box. If the opponent claims the wall, you can switch to the other box and make multiple boxes once again so you can continue the box fight. And these two are the most likely scenarios, but there are so many other scenarios out there. With just these two fighting mechanics, I guarantee you that you will start winning more fights in real games. Just make sure to be aware of them when you're against a player who knows what they're doing. This will drastically improve your fighting ability and it will give you an edge against other players. And for the third and final tip that I will recommend to you guys is to find a pro controller player that suits the playstyle you like and learn from their mistakes as well as their strengths. Personally, I've tried to learn from Faze Wei because of the way he fights. I've tried to implement most of his strengths onto my own gameplay and I instantly got better. Whether it's Reed, Day, Miro, Cam, Sway, or pretty much any other controller player you idolize, try to play around their playstyles. If you do, you'll have a good foundation and then you can start slowly building your own playstyle around that foundation. Most controller players post on YouTube or stream on Twitch, so you have a large amount of professional controller players to choose from. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys learned something new, then make sure to leave a like, and if you're new around here, then make sure to subscribe for content related to Fortnite. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.